Thank you for giving me an opportunity to present. I'll begin the presentation of a sustainable design method considering the relationship between structure, environment, and the materials. Let me tell you about the introduction. Recently, Dezan Floor Mill was registered as Seoul Excellent Building Asset Number Two. The background is as follows. Firstly, from the perspective of historical value, it contains the use and appearance show the change of the times in Korea. Secondly, from the landscape value, it comprises buildings gathered within a certain range retain their own beauty in addition to the aesthetic value of individual buildings. Thirdly, from the viewpoints of the artistic value, it represents the architectural features of the building, such as architecture, beauty, and architecture technology. Finally, in the way of social cultural value, it can include those that reflect the characteristics of the region and have to understand the region, which can increase the economic effect of the region through conservation and utilization. Based on this background, it was designed to create architecture that can last for a long time as a piece of industrial heritage that has adapted various methods of increasing density while preserving the value left behind. This is in line with the goal of urban sustainability. And when analyzed from a microscopic perspective, it is possible to find the effective sustainable regeneration approach in the growing urban context. The ultimate purpose is to propose a sustainable design methodology through this. Part two is about Sustainable approach through regeneration. The value of regenerating industrial heritage is significant for the following reasons. The first reason is the multi-layer spectrum of industrial heritage. The second reason is the flexible usability of industrial heritage. The third reason lies in the potential economic value of industrial facility regeneration. The concept of urban sustainability by UN is composed of society, economy, and ecology. In the concept of urban sustainability, three potential value in desert floor mill renovation is as follows. Firstly, from the perspective of environmental sustainability, the floor mill's prime feature is implying its environmental maintenance. Secondly, in terms of Social sustainability, the re revitalized desert floor mill was developed explicitly to foster identity regeneration and citizen particip participation. Thirdly, this space plays a role in community revital revitalization, partaking in the city's functions through an independent cooperative economic system. In the part three, I will explain architecturalization method of the desert flow mill renovation. Among the 23 buildings that make up the site of desert flow mill, the space was grouped based on the value of space and eight buildings were selected for the regeneration. The purpose of most facilities is to be 
developed as a complex cultural space. The first one is large storage warehouse. It is a wooden structure building with a width of 50 meter and the length of about 100 meters facing the triangle square in the center and the continuous column free space and wooden truss are very attractive. The building work, which shows traces of dividing or connecting the space, is demolished, leading to a column free space of 100 long. The upper asbestos slate is removed and the structure is reinforced according to the required space purpose. The structure material surrounding the outside of the building is used as a structural device that makes it possible to maintain the current entire space as it is, and also as a device to improve the environment. The exterior material on the side facing the square will be replaced to capture the change in the square between the wooden structure grid frames. Next one is rice mill. It was rebuilt after being burned down in fire. The original wooden roof was replaced by steel structure. It is hoped that traces of material consisting of blackened red brick inside will be rebuilt and the white paint inside will be scratched off in order to further entrance, further enhance the sense of space inside, the installation of a middle level structure in a certain part is considered. The middle floor, including the, the air conditioning space is a device for efficient environmental improvement of the large airspace used as a factory. The rooftop finishes will be replaced by a skylight at, to add depth to the space. The third one is cafeteria. It has a plan structure symmetrical to the accessory space of the Kia plane attached to the rice mill. This creates an interesting space because the plane is symmetrical, but the roof structure system is different. The yard between the two buildings will be covered with a roof to internalize outdoor space. The floor and walls enter the interior with their original physical properties. A terrace is planned on the rooftop. The roof terrace will be used as an outdoor auditorium overlooking the square and an observatory viewing the silos. Fourth one is tin warehouse. The harmony of blue tin plate and red bricks which are materials that hold traces of time, creates a unique atmosphere. There are five entrances and various traces of the past remain around. It actively opens this up and creates a path between them. The wooden structure at it is dismantled and reinstalled in a structure with different height. The space separated into five will be reconstructed into a structural method of separation and integration in different ways by means of crossroads. Fifth one is wooden warehouse. Numerous columns form an inner space. It's like a dense forest of trees. In order to dismantle the asbestos roof and install lighting, the recently built steel pillar is used as new roof structure. 
steel pillars that differ in row from the wooden structure naturally change the shape of the roof. Due to the structure of the clutter story, the north silo appears. appears. A new floor will be installed and planned to contain various programs. Sixth one is Majorly Factory. It is a single story Majorly building facing long in two out outer spaces. The program is configured to correspond to the rear square of the axillary plan and the triangular square in the center. The division and integration of each space are considered. Even when internal spaces are different sizes are integrated and used, they are demolished so that traces thereof can be contained in the internal space. At the same time as demolition, the structure reinforced method is added and the environment is improved by creating facility space. Seventh one is office. It is the only building with an underground floor. Facilities connecting infrastructure, infrastructure to improve the environment of the entire site are built in the expanded space of the basement floor. The main building will have a story hall and the part facing the square will be planned as a large media facade to support the squares program. As the main building that manages the same, the entire space, it continues its role in the past. The eighth one is warehouse number two. It is a two-story building with a reinforced concrete ramen structure built in 1936. It was a space for the final process of the carrying the finished product up to the vehicle. And traces of structure remain large concrete canopy and clerestory. Three layers are added to increase density. It is a way of responding to the surrounding urban structure. The column of elevation corresponding the, to the side of the road becomes a device that emphasizes elements in the vertical direction together with the silos. Summarizing so far, a sustainable design method considering the relationship between structure, environment, and material can be suggested in this viewpoint. First point is securing structure stability. Each of the eight building groups has slightly different value as a building asset. In some cases, because of structural stability or because structural stability must be secured or because scale, the design approaches were different. Next point is environmental improvements. Environmental improvements is closely related to the structural reinforcement presented above. And unique methods have been proposed that suggest the possibility of facility improvement within the structure. The last one is dialogue with materials. The source of attraction of eight buildings comes from materials mirroring different times. Deriving attraction in a contemporary manner does not mean that architecture must reproduce the old appearance as it is, but that is contains the technology and values of the contemporary context. This is represented as dialogue with materials. In conclusion, a meaningful relationship can be created 
when structure, environment, and materials are to be considered maturely rather than individually. Hence, it is not a space where the memories of the space have been lost, but one that aims for a new future by further amplifying the power created by the past and the charm of the present. Thank you for listening for a long time.